Okay, so we're going to build out a separate search page, implement our form, have the ability to, of course, enter a search term and actually perform a search. Let's look at how this works. So let's go ahead and run PHP Arts and make controller. We'll just generate out a search controller to handle this. Let's go over to that search controller and let's go ahead and just implement and invoke magic method. We won't bother giving this a name and let's return, of course, a view in here. Let's just call that search for now and keep things really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and just create out that search .blade.php file inside of the views directory. And let's go ahead and just put search in there for now. We can head over to roots and web and go ahead and register this. So let's go ahead and create that out now. Root get search. And let's go ahead and reference the search controller. And we're pretty much done. Let's just make sure we import that. Great. Okay, let's go over to slash search and there is our search page. Let's steal the template from the dashboard.blade.php file, paste that in there, and let's go ahead and put search as the title and search just in here. Let's give that a refresh. And there we go. This is where our form is going to live. So let's just start to scaffold this out for now. Let's close everything off except search. And inside of here, let's start with our form. Now with this, we're not gonna hook this up just yet. We're gonna set the method in here to get, that's really important. And what kind of data do we want to see in here? Well, at least to start with, we want a input. Now with Laravel Breeze, we actually get a whole host of components, blade components. We actually get an input in here already that's already styled. Don't worry too much if you don't understand what blade components are if you haven't worked with them, but this is going to work nicely. So we're just going to say X input in here, which references that blade component. And let's go ahead and give this an ID of query. Uh, let's give this a name of query and let's give this a type of search. So we get the nice X button to get rid of this. Let's go ahead and add a placeholder in here as well. So let's just say search for something. And let's just go ahead and check that out. And it doesn't look quite right at the moment. So let's go ahead and add some additional classes to this. Let's make this block and width full. And there we go. Great. So let's go ahead and uh, implement the button here as well. And again, Laravel Breeze comes with an X button component. And all we need to do is just put inside of there the text that we want to see on that button. Let's just fix up the spacing issue we've got here. So we're gonna add a class to our form of space Y2. It's just gonna separate out these two things. Okay, so we can click on this and we get a query inside of our query string. Okay, so over to our search controller. Let's go over here and start the process off of actually performing the search. Now to start with, the results will be empty. What we want to do is only start to iterate through these when we actually have any results. So let's initially set this to null and go ahead and just pass the results down to here. And let's go ahead and add a really simple, just underneath our form, check to see if we've actually got any results. So let's end the if and just say you have results. Great. Okay, so if we come back over, give that a refresh, hit search, of course nothing happens. Now over in our search controller, what we can now do is if we actually have a query in the query string, so let's do this now, let's uh, bring our request object into here so we can actually read from the query string. So request, get, and query. Now the reason that we can't just do the shorthand request query is query is a property on the request object. So unfortunately we have to use uh, get query or you could just call this something else and access it as shorthand. Now let's go ahead and just set results to an empty collection to, to test that this works. Let's go ahead and hit search and there we go. You have results. Now we don't at the moment, but that doesn't matter. Now with this, let's actually set the action to slash search just so we don't get this annoying hash on the end. And that looks good, great. Okay, so to actually perform the search then, we don't wanna set this to an empty collection. We wanna go ahead and overwrite the results to use the model that we want to search on. Remember earlier inside of this articles model with this searchable trait that we have, we have this static search method. So what we can actually do is use that. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's as easy as just passing the query in. 
So we can go ahead and assign that within the if statement and then just go ahead and pop it directly into here. Now with this, that's pretty much it. We just call get like we would when we're accessing any other article data or model data in this case, and we're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and just import the article model and let's check this out. So that looks like it is working with our search query set to A. Let's actually show the results. So we'll do this really, really simply for now and we'll tidy it up to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's create out a div in here with a class of space y4 just to space the results out. And first of all, let's actually check if there are any results in terms of the count of results, because uh, we'll probably want to show a message if we don't have any results for the particular query. Results tells us that the search has been performed. The count tells us that we actually have some results. If we don't, let's just say no results found, because then the user can adjust their search. Otherwise, we can start to iterate through each of the results. So let's go ahead and create a for each and end that here. And let's say results as result. Now, each of these results is going to be a model. What Laravel Scout will have done behind the scenes once that data has been indexed. And you'll notice if we come over to Mealy Search, we get the ID in here. When we perform a search over in Laravel, what it's going to do it's going to map up the models that we have inside of our index uh, to the models we have in our database or the documents that we have in our index to the models that we have in our database. So this is pretty much just going to give us back almost like we had searched this directly from the database. Let's just die dump on results just to kind of prove that. Let's hit uh, this on query A and sure enough, we get a database eloquent collection instance and we have a list of articles that match that particular search. So everything kind of feels like you're just pulling results out of a database. Okay, let's go ahead and actually look at the iteration of this really, really quickly. Uh, let's create our div in here and we'll create an H1 for the result title. So pretty much again, just like you would do if you were plucking results from your database. Let's go over and just check this out. And there we go. Sure enough, we can search for pretty much anything. You can see that filters down based on more specific keywords. Okay, let's make this look a little bit nicer before we carry on. So I'm just gonna set the text here to large and set the font on this to semi-bold. And let's go down and implement a paragraph for the teaser. So result and teaser. And then we'll get a little bit later to showing the user. We've not quite got there yet. That's pretty much what we want. Now for the form, let's just give this a margin bottom of six. And there we go. So now we can just start searching for pretty much anything and see a list of results. Now, if we don't get any results, for example, if I just enter a load of rubbish in here, we know that we get no results found. Just before we carry on, let's fix this up. So whatever we've entered into the query string stays in our search input. To do this, we just need to assign a value to this and we can just basically use our request helper and go ahead and get out query. Now we'll go ahead and add that into there for us so we can modify it and search for something a little bit different. 